is new. <laughs> um, we had a request for another extension cable for micro SD card, but this time I'll take an SD card at the other end. Uh, your, your wish is my granted desire. That's a good I don't idea. Know. Um, yeah, we have now in every combo SD to SD, SD to micro SD, micro SD to SD. So whatever you want, this is great if you want to like, yeah, you have a, yeah. a, a 3D printer, you have a uh, computer and you want to have the um, SD card available ex elsewhere. I will say the only thing to watch out for is is because it's mechanically, the card is like inserted, it doesn't auto detect when it's removed. So it's not good mm. for stuff where it's like, it needs to detect that you've removed a card oh, yeah. and replaced it. It's good for like single board computers like this where you yeah, don't yeah. remove the card, you reboot to do that. Um, this is something to watch out for. Otherwise, you might have to tell like rescan the yeah, card. Yeah, yeah. Um, but still, it's great to have access to it. Next up. Next up, we're now we got uh, some stock of the Raspberry Pi SSD, the 256 gigabyte one. We're still waiting on the 54 gigabyte. Um, these SSDs are really good quality, and they're tested to work wonderfully with the Raspberry Pi. They have all these look all these warnings. Yeah, of them. it's like a NAS, um, NASCAR of safety. Yeah, uh, you know Raspberry Pi obviously doesn't make SSDs, but they um, do they, do they do get them made for them they know to a spec. Guy. And you know they have the they have the speed that will make them work really well with the Raspberry Pi. And so if you want to use your M2 hat, you want excellent performance. Um, these are a great price, and you know that they're going to work because I have gotten SSD cards that SSDs and they have like a slightly different formatting and they yeah. have like a different encoding and it da, 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 it's a little confusing. But these ones you know they'll work. And again, for the price, it's the same cost as other SSDs. Yeah, and I'd say you probably have a better shot at the Raspberry Pi ones being. Better quality. Yeah. Okay. Start the show besides you, Lady Ada, our team, our customers, the open source community, everyone who makes things go is... Trinky. We've got right. another Trinky. This is the thumbstick Trinky. Um, so this is kind of... I think I saw somebody like hacking their Nintendo Switch and they like kind of DIY something like this. And this is a good idea. So it's a SD card. Sorry. It's a USB... Uh, plug goes into any device or computer that has a USB-A and it shows up as an HID device and then it has a little thumbstick which is kind of like the PSB Vita it's like a little, little joystick thumbstick and two buttons and uh, it just acts as a mouse but of course it's programmable it could run Arduino or CircuitPython so some idea is you want it to be in um, a MIDI bend sensor um, or like pitch bend or you want it to send um, multimedia control commands instead or you want it to be like a turbo button where it like presses a button you know some like key up and down multiple times um or actually just uses a mouse so it's a little neopix on the bottom again it's going to come pre-programmed to show up as a mouse has two uh little buttons at the end and there's a dip switch so you can change the orientation so depending on how you plug it in you want up to be up um, but you know, you want a little thumbstick and you want two buttons and you want a NeoPixel and you want it to be a little USB device, you're in luck. This is your Trinky of choice. And there's lots of little characters that go along with each Trinky. Um, we called this the Joy Trinky because it was, you know, a joystick. <laughs> and, um, you know, these little, these little creatures are your friends and we have other ones. Um, we had a chip shortage and so we were about to do a bunch of Trinkies and like e ink Trinky. And uh, there's a bunch of designs. <laughs> the e ink tricky actually ended up being something else. Yeah. I ended up it, turning that. And I was like, design is e ink tricky. And I was like, yeah. you know, I think it's actually would be better just like the e ink. Not the alligator because it has a little Yo, USB, USB thing. USB yeah. thing yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, these are the um, little little characters. So, we'll get back to this and more, but um, you can check this out. And that is New Parks of the Week. Mm -hmm.